Welcome to Poker Vlog number 10, baby, Alex Boyd. So, we got three $1,000 flips to mention. Uh, I'm in for this table for uh, $3,500. I had $1,400 to start this hand. When uh, this VIP sits down to my left, I call him a VIP because he brings all the action to the table. He sits down and first hand, I get ace-jack against him. Um, I'm trying to get as most money in this pot as possible. If I raise it too much, he might fold or he might call me and outplay me in position. I have no clue what this guy has firsthand. I'm going to limp, make it look like I'm weak. He raises to $35. A couple callers comes around to me. I make it a quarter. $250. Goes around to him. He makes it a stack. $1,000. Goes around to me. I call. Board runs out, 10 high, 4 hearts. I show him ace-jack high, no hearts. He shows me ace-king, no hearts. He scoops $2,100. And I feel like garbage. So, I take my 400, play tight, ran it up to 1100 Before this Indian guy sits down to my right. So now we got this Indian guy and this loose guy on my left. So, things are looking good. Indian guy to my right says he has history with me. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if this Indian guy is a tight Indian guy or a loose Indian guy. So we're going to have to find out because I forgot what history we had together. So uh, I get in the hand and the cutoff where I have queen nine suited and I raise to like $30. I get called by this old man coffee type guy and this Indian guy. And the flop comes ace queen jack. They check it to me, I bet $85 get called by both of them. I'm like, what? You both called me $85 on an ace, queen, jack, flop? Okay. <clears throat> Whatever. Checks, uh, the turn comes with three. It goes check, check, check. River comes with seven. The old man coffee type checks. And this Indian guy bets 115 Looks very value-y. So I'm just, I just fold my queen here because I'm tight on money. And the uh, other guy folds. I'm like, the hell? Like, my queen was way good here if uh, the other guy folded. So I'm like, what did you have? Shows me jack-8 offsuit. I'm like, oh, you did not do that. You did not do that, sir. So <clears throat> I uh, called a raise by this Indian guy pre-flop of like 35 or 40 bucks when I had 8-4 suited. And the flop comes ace-8-x. And uh, it goes check, check, turn comes a blank, he bets, I call, river comes a four, he bets, I raise like three or four times his bet. He calls, I make like $350 off of him with 8-4 suited, and I show, and he goes on tilt. So this time, he's under the gun, and he straddles, making me under the gun. And I get pocket jacks. Well, when I get pocket JJ's and he straddles on tilt, you know I'm just going to limp for $10. And a couple callers goes around to him. He makes it 75 I take a stack of green and I splash it, make it like 475 Goes around to him. He makes it 1000 I call it 1000 He shows me queen 10 of diamonds. I don't show to the river. The board is ace 9 blank, 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 blank. The reason I didn't show is because I said I call you. I want to see your hand. Then I show him jacks and scoop 2,000. Next hand, I get pocket sixes. He's in the big blind. I'm um, Same routine. I limp. Four callers. He makes it 45. This time, those limps might be strong. So I didn't want to go like berserk. So I just made it 210. If anybody else raised me, I fold. But none of them even got in the pot. Goes around to him. He shoves for 1,000. I snap call. And I didn't even request to see his hand. 
because the flop came 6, 7, 10, 9, 3. So an 8 makes it straight, but obviously he doesn't put a 1,000 in with an 8 in his hand. So he he goes to almost show me his hand. I'm like, don't even bother, bro. Sixes, set of sixes. He goes on massive tilt, goes to his uh, 510 PLO with a rock table soon after. So I guess he was a big player. And uh, that's it for that table. I uh, take a little break eventually. I turn that 4 into 31 in like 40 minutes. And I go to another 2-5 table eventually. I'm down to my last 500 on this table. And this one guy who was in for 1500 with a $2,100 stack, he was playing his free, his last free hands because I talked him into playing another orbit. Uh, he was betting 50 blind every one of those hands. Um, if everybody else folded, I was just running it down for 50 with him. <clears throat> so he's under the gun, his last free hand. He makes it 50 blind. My, uh, my friend calls and the button makes it 225. I have Jack Nine offsuit though, Ocala Nuts. I gotta represent though the Ocala players. I can't fold Ocala Nuts for 225 when I have 500. So I call 225. And uh, under the gun, that's his last hand. He plays it 225. My friend makes a really big mistake. He makes it 400, all in. I'm like, dude, you can see the flop for 225. Why are you going for the other 175? You can see a flop. What if the flop comes ace ace king? Like you might not have that. You're gonna put the last one. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, he goes all in for four hundred. The button calls. I call. The other guy calls. So main pot sixteen hundred. Um, the flop comes six seven ten. So my jack nine. I need an eight for the nut. So I just shove all in instantly for a hundred. Cause I don't wanna. I just wanna get the money in when I. You know they're gonna bet anyways. So whatever. Maybe they fold. So uh, they both call. The pot's now about 1,905 or 1,910, something like that uh, total. And the turn comes a nine of diamonds. So now there's a one-liner. An eight makes a straight. I have a pair of nines with a gut shot. The guy who raised preflop um, to 50 blind says he has a flush draw and a pair when they're heads up. And he checks. The button shoves for 1260 effective and uh, takes out his cell phone. He takes out his cell phone and starts recording the hand. I know this guy has pocket eights. So I already know I'm drawing to an eight so I can win. So I have two outs, basically. And um, the other guy, Tank, folds and said, I'll just take my $200 profit and leave. And the river... Before the river comes out, I tell my friend I have the Ocala nuts. There's two other people from Ocala that play. They're standing behind this pot watching. I told them I have the Ocala nuts. And I call for an eight on the river. I'm like, eight on the river. Eight comes on the river. This guy with the cell phone out recording the hand has no clue what's going on. I slow roll nine jack offsuit for a $1,905 pot. And this guy can't believe his mind that I called 400 preflop with it. So, uh, obviously he doesn't know how I play. And, uh, later on, there was another, uh, two five table that I go in. And I have 450 effective. I think I started this table with 400 bucks. I get jack three of clubs in the big line. Under the gun is a loose Asian player, I think. Kind of tight. Makes it 25 bucks. Middle position calls. My friend calls. I'm in a small blind. No, my friend's in a small blind. I complete. So we go like four ways to a flop. Comes seven three deuce rainbow with one club. I got backdoor flush drop potential. A pair. I can get two pair of trips. Uh, that's my only options I have here. Um, I don't want to inflate the pot and get raised by an over pair. So I checked. Let the guy do his little C bet. You can see bets for $55. Folds around to me. I peel one time. I peel a three on the turn. So my only option here is sizing. Um, I've been in this spot before. If the guy has an over pair, I bet a third of his stack. He ships it every time. And uh, I never check it. I don't want him to pot control and then get blown off his hand on the river. 
So I just bet a third of his stack. I just looked at his stack. I bet a third of my stack. My bad. A third of my stack. He ships it, obviously. I call. And uh, the river comes a three. I complete it with quads. I get a, a $1,025 pot coming my way. I get a high hand, but it gets beaten 10 minutes by quad fives with only three tables. This is overnight. I don't know how the hell I got beat. But anyways, I take that pot down. And this other hand is the most interesting hand in this vlog. Me and my friend. I'm not going to mention his name. He knows who he is. One hand, I, I don't even remember what I had this hand, but the action went, my friend limped. The guy after him raised to like 25 or 30 bucks. I called, planning to steal the pot, my, because my friend limped, and when he limps, he limps strong hands. So if like a big cards come out, I can push him off his hands sometimes. So I'm thinking maybe he has like pocket pair or something. He limps, he calls. The flock comes king, king, eight. It checks to me, I bet like 125 bucks. He calls. Now, he calls, I think, because it's me, not because he has a hand. Turn comes an ace. I think that ace helped his hand. So he checks it, and I check back. The river comes a blank. He leads for 400. Now, I think that he thinks that, that I think that if I had an eight, I would call him. But he probably knows that he hit his ace, and his ace is good. Because if he had a king, he probably would have bet the turn himself. So he's like value betting an ace. He thinks that I'm going to call if I had like a pocket pair or a smaller ace. But he doesn't know I have complete garbage. And he'll never know that. Well, he'll know that after he watches his video. So I fold what I think was like five high or something like that. And we get in his spot again. This time he limps again under the gun. And under the gun plus one makes it 25. This time I call with 9-4 offsuit five ways. And 9-4 offsuit on a jack, on a jack, jack, five flop. Checks around to me. I bet 120. And uh, my friend under the gun who limp calls. Turn comes a king. This time he checks it to me. But this time I think about it. I make it look like I'm super strong. And I don't know if I should bet here or bet the river to make it look like a bluff. So I think about it for a good like 25 seconds. Then check. River comes to eight. He thinks about it. And uh, he doesn't bet it. Comes around to me. I snap shove for 460 to make it look like a bluff, even though I am bluffing. He snap folds. I show him 9 4 offsuit for 9 high. And he just doesn't say anything. And uh, I scoop that pot. So I uh, lose most of my bankroll the following week and decide to play poker locally instead. I liquidate some of my assets uh, only to get a couple hundred bucks and change and head to Ocala High Life. I buy him for 124 bucks and run it up to just over 200 bucks when I get King Queen off suit and face a raise of $15 from a loose aggressive fish. I call and the tightest player on my left raises to 40. I already know this is going to be a big pot. The fish goes all in for $65. I'm not folding for $65. I'm also not folding for the other guys. $140. Total stack, $75 more. I call that and I call that. The guy on my left shows me ace-king. I have king-queen. I have three outs in the deck. First four cards are blanks. I bink a queen on the river and scoop a three-way all-in pot. Shortly after, my friend sits down to my right under the gun on his first hand and raises to $15. I look down at Ace Queen offsuit, take a fistful of red chips and splash the pot. Folds around to him, he jams for 200 and shows Ace King after I snap call. Four blanks come out once again and another queen on the river for a $400 pot. Later on, I get pocket threes on the button and limp just about after the whole table limps and the big blind makes it 20. Sometimes this guy plays on tilt, but mostly he's tight. I can't really tell this time. The tightest player is in the small blind. He calls for the dollar, and that actually means something. He could very easily jam all in to deny equity if he has something big. So, um... Maybe he picked up on something. Maybe he knew the big blind was going to raise, so he just limped a big hand. 
So after about six callers, I actually fold my pocket threes and show the guy to my right, which is my friend. He flips out, telling everybody that I'm insane for folding that hand. <clears throat> In the small blind, ships it for 160 bucks. The big blind calls for less, so does the player across in seat two with about 120 bucks. The board runs out. Three, five, seven, seven, ten. I would have had a boat with threes full of sevens, but I wasn't in the hand, so I don't have anything. I go on tilt, obviously. Then the dude in seat two flips over a seven, four offsuit? Hell no. That's when I decide I'm gonna stay till I have all the guy in seat two's chips. About 15 minutes goes by before I get pocket fours. And this time, I'm like, I gotta hit this set because the guy in seat two limped this hand and my friend made it 15. Well, I'm not gonna re-raise my friend. I want the guy who limped two dollars to be in the pot because he's the worst player on the table. I call seat two limps and uh, we're going three ways to a flop of 10-4-3 when I have the second nuts with two spades. Seat two checks. My friend bets $55 for half his stack. I snap call so it doesn't look too suspicious. Seat 2 goes on for about $285. My friend calls for less thinking he has the flush draw. My friend has ace king he shows me. I told them they're both virtually drawing dead. After they show me 4-3 and ace king, I show pocket 4s. Turn is a ace of diamonds and the river doesn't really matter. I make a $1,111 profit in less than an hour. I take 400 of it to the 2-5 table. Third hand in, I get jack 10 of hearts from middle position facing a straddle. It's a six-way limp pot to a flop of ace-king-3. So with the straddle, there's 60 in the pot total with six players in. The king is a heart. Everyone checks. Turn comes a queen of hearts. Now I have a straight with a royal flush draw. I bet $10 so I can get raised by virtually anything in a, and the uh, cutoff makes it 60 I I only bet $10 here because it looks like a fishy bet and usually any ace or any two pair raises looks like I might be on a draw myself. I only bet $10 with the nut flush draw, the absolute nuts, or a set. Uh, that's a tell. I'll tell everybody right now. And then uh, next time you play me, that's not what I have. Comes back around to me. I make it, I min click it for 110 after he made it 60. He rejams for 390 effective. I snap call and tell him his straight is drawing to a chop. So his nuts is, is drawing to a chop. He didn't have any clue what I was talking about. So my friend, uh, next to me says, uh, heart on the river for Alex and the river is a six of hearts for me. So I scoop an $800 pot when I already had the nuts, and uh, that's it, folks.